Hi, today we'll be taking a look at my unboxing of the TiVo Bolt. The Bolt is TiVo's latest device. Uh, it is 4K Ultra HD capable. It does have a faster processor, three times faster than the TiVo Romeo, three times more memory than the TiVo Romeo, and it's 33% smaller. Uh, new features uh, that were debuted with the Bolt include skip mode, where you can push one button and skip the entire commercial break without having to fast forward and miss the beginning of the program. Um, that is limited to certain stations and certain programs, um, but I understand it is a, a great feature when it's available. I look forward to trying that out. It also has quick mode, where you can speed up the playback of any program by 30%. Uh, TiVo will pitch correct the audio so it doesn't sound like uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Um, this particular unit does come with the one terabyte of storage and has four tuners. Uh, it does have the RF remote and remote finder capability. It uh, can use either a cable card uh, or an antenna, um, whatever you choose to, to use. Uh, let's take a look at the box a little bit um, at the front. Um, Let's turn it over. Uh, it tells a little bit more about uh, the system. One thing you'll notice is nowhere on the box or in the literature do they refer to this as a DVR. Uh, this is now a unified entertainment system. Um, this is TiVo's attempt, uh, in my opinion, to separate themselves from just being a recording device to being a, an all-purpose uh, multimedia streaming device with uh, combined search capabilities uh, in one device. Uh, and they do a really good job of that. Um, they, they include Netflix, Vudu, Hulu, uh, Amazon, HBO Go, YouTube, uh, even include Plex, uh, so you can play back your own um, recordings within your own home network. Um, so anyway, um, no longer TiVo DVR, this is now the TiVo Unified Entertainment System. Okay, so let's get this thing out of the box. Let's see what's included and uh, let's see what we have. Okay, so first things first, uh, the TiVo Bolt Unified Entertainment System Setup and Product Features. Let me put that aside. We won't need that. Uh, looks like we've got the bolt itself right here. Let's go ahead and get it out. Um, so here is the bolt. We have the TiVo logo on the front. And the hard glossy white plastic. Uh, here on the back, you've got the remote finder feature. You've got the cable antenna input, digital audio output, uh, analog audio, HDMI, Ethernet, USB, eSATA port, and of course the power port. Uh, on the bottom, uh, there's a lot of ventilation fan right here. Uh, looks like um, they've changed the architecture of the device. In previous TiVo devices, you had a cable card slot on the back. Clearly, there's not room for that uh, any longer. Uh, looks like they've moved that to the bottom behind this trap door. And there it is, uh, cable slot, cable card slot right there. Uh, a clever way to get it into the package without taking up as much room. Let's see, uh, on the bottom here we have ventilation size. This is a, uh, a rigid plastic. Um, you do have rubber feet on each corner, keep from scuffing uh, your furniture. Uh, so that's handy. Um, I will just go ahead and get this said, get it out there in the open. I am not a fan of white electronics and I am not a fan of this curved design. Um, maybe you are, um, that's great. Uh, tell me about it in the comments. If you like it, you dislike it, uh, indifferent, um, just let me know how you feel about it. Um, so that is the TiVo Bolt. Let's see what else we have in the box. We've got another box here. Okay, there's the remote. Let's take it out of the packaging. It looks like it is also white. Uh, I guess we'll have to get used to white uh, for this, this version of the TiVo. 
Um, the TiVo logo has lost its face. It is now just a silver button with antennas and feet. Um, it's about the same size as the uh, TiVo Mini remote um, that I reviewed uh, recently. Um, feels about the same in the hand. Uh, maybe a little bit uh, less plasticky feeling. Okay. What else do we have in the box? I believe you got the power adapter. Uh, to go along with the uh, smaller size of the TiVo, we now have uh, a wall wart. Um, so they have taken the um, power out of the device itself and put it uh, into the wall, which I guess saves them space and saves them cooling, which is fine, I suppose. However, now we have to deal with a rather unsightly and a rather large uh, wart to plug into the wall. Um, if you're anything like me, your surge suppressors are already at capacity and you have no room for this. Uh, we'll make do. So they have included an HDMI cable. Um, very nice. We always appreciate that. And they've given us batteries for the remote. Um, we don't have to worry about getting our own. Okay, so that is my unboxing of the TiVo Bolt. Here it is again. Uh, very thin, very light, uh, very plasticky. Um, but, you know, we'll try it out. And I'll report back in a later video uh, my hands-on review of the TiVo Bolt. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.